course, Google has all the answers to everything we need in this world. Hello. So today uh, we will be uh, attempting to answer a professional botanist. No opinion. Today we will be attempting to answer. The internet's most searched questions regarding the violin. I don't know if we can answer them. I don't know. We'll try our very best as... We'll take it upon ourselves as the internet violin guys. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. And Do then, you have the authority to answer? Nah, nah, not just really. Just an opinion guys. Just an opinion on behalf of some violins. I don't care. Don't know what's going on. Alright. So. Why is violin so hard? Wow. I love how that is the very first question. And the second one's so difficult. Oh yeah, the second one. The third one is hard. <laughs> hard Why to learn. Hard? Dude, that's the first four searches. Wow. Well, you guys, you know. If anything, this just shows violin is the superior instrument. Yes. It requires the most talent. Yes. Clearly. Uh, Harder than every instrument. <laughs> yeah, not everyone can endure the hardships of learning such a... <laughs> Intricate instrument. I don't know why is it hard. Well, yeah, two things. It's made out of wood, and wood generally is pretty hard. Look at that. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> First, you need to understand your four strings. It's one of the hard things is intonation. Let's yeah. start with that. Intonation means playing the right notes in, in tune. tune. Mm -hmm. And a, you have to train to be able to hear that. I mean, if it's really bad, I think generally people can hear. And B, you gotta practice at least 40 hours a day to make sure your intonation is spectacular. Uh, just to get a bit more look, like technical, the difference between violin and say a guitar, is guitars have frets. Yes. Uh, and these frets that are on the fingerboard basically kind of divide the fingerboard up into notes. Yes. Which allows you, as long as the guitar is in tune, it's a lot easier to play in tune. Because you can see. Yeah, you can see and the frets kind of stop. You can feel it, it stops. It's, it's the, a bit like the piano. Yeah. You can see where the notes are. The piano also, right? But it's not just you can see, it's like, it's literally divided into intervals. There's yeah. no... On a piano, you're either playing a C or C sharp. You yeah. can't play between unless the piano's out of tune. Yeah. Whereas with the violin... There's infinite. There's no frets, so there's literally an infinite amount of pitch variation between... It's so hard. And if you put your finger just like a millimeter off, not even a millimeter, like a point point one of a millimeter. Yeah, point one. It will be out of tune. You can catch it out. A good ear will be able to catch it out. Your mm -hmm. violin will catch it out. Yes, the violin won't resonate. But as that's well. why it's so hard. And also because it changes. The higher you go up the position, the gap becomes smaller. So so yeah, so like the, the space between the yeah. notes here and here's not even. And the guess same. what? It's different for every violin. Congratulations! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why we yeah, play it the violin. Is so, it is so, now, we, the more I think about it, why do we? And that's just the left hand. That's just yeah. That's the not right the right hand. <laughs> we haven't even got it started. The right hand requires the bow. the bow is not balanced evenly. You have the frog here, which is heavier. The tip is lighter. Obvi that means if it's heavier here, lighter here, the weight is more on this side. Which yeah, which means in order to make one consistent sound from here to here, you gotta you actually have to readjust in your hand how much weight in every millimeter so that the compensation it. it's like that <laughs> if i just play it without my right hand doing any adjustments i'm just going to play it with the bow itself you can hear it crunch at the beginning and gets like fades away at the very end you ready i'm not going to do any of my bows i'll hold it like this just to show you guys too heavy pretty good And a little bit too light at the end, it gets too soft. Yeah, so yeah. that's why you have to learn to be lighter here now. Now I'm going to control it. Yeah. I'll put more weight in at the end. Oh, wait. But wait, it's only one of the four elements yeah. required to. Oh, there's yeah, also both about speed, that. <laughs> and there's also contact point. And it also depends which string you're on, because the G string is thicker, so it resonates in a way that's different than the E string. And also, if you're higher in position, the gap between the bow and the string changes, so all the weight and rules change again. Wow! Learn the violin, they said. It will be fun, they said. <laughs> Why is violin so popular? 
because if you watch any two set violin. <laughs> No, we're not claiming. <laughs> Sorry, we're not claiming. I think the <laughs> actually one of the reasons it's been throughout history for a long time. Mm -hmm. well, last it's proven three, itself. It's proven throughout history. It stood the test of time. It's the test of time, like since you know Bach, even probably before different versions of the violin. Yeah. And then I think the violin became kind of dominant back then because it, again, actually the versatility of its timbre allowed it to kind of resemble the voice. Mm -hmm. You know, it can do cassandras, it can do vibrato, it can sing long phrases. Look at this beauty, see? Um, this has stood the test of time. Yeah. This one here is it's almost 70 years old. It's more portable than the cello and the double bass, making it convenient, you can travel with it. Yeah. Uh, it's actually acoustically, from a physical, physics perspective, more ideal than the viola. You can look it up. Like the actual size, yeah, that's true. Design it's, and also yeah. so the dynamic range and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, then obviously there's like all the Chinese dramas that portray violence as just like the most romantic thing. Which you know, I mean, I we're not give, complaining. Yeah, we're gonna give credit to them. Yeah. Dude. Why is the bow called no? Why is frog? Oh, oh, why is the violin bow? Um, why is the violin bow called frog? Actually, I don't know. Good I don't question. Know, je ne parle pas français. Is the frog comes from the French? No, I don't know. Actually, as a context, France is known for its creating good bows. Yes. That's why. It you wasn't just like random. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I always why is speaking French? Because there's like torts, for our previous video about taught French bows. Yeah. French, have, French people have a good history of making good bows. Why is violin mm. fretless? Because well, we like a challenge. Why is the violin better than viola? <laughs> Self-explanatory. Why is violin more popular than viola? Self-explanatory. Uh, look, okay, like, to be fair, many composers didn't, there's not enough repertoire for the viola yeah. in comparison to the violin. Um, and the reason a lot more was written for the violin is because acoustically the violin tends to project better. Yes. And uh, which means if you're playing as a soloist with an orchestra, the violin's a lot easier to write and express music with than the viola. Yeah. Um, you're sitting at the top of the pitch range. Right in the middle. If something a sound is higher, it usually is easier to hear a melody than yeah. a sound that's lower. Yes. Um, and kind of viola is kind of stuck in the middle range, which means it's perfect as a supporting role. Do violinists have perfect pitch? Nah. Yes. <laughs> Do violinists lose hearing? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a touchy subject. It is a sacrifice oh. some make for the greater good of music. Look, I say like, if you're a violinist and you're practicing and you're playing orchestra your entire life, yeah, you probably your left ear will be Suffering. slightly um, deaf. I, I want to say deaf. It depends. It really yeah. depends. Uh, you know, you hear, you have some violinists that the left ear is weaker in hearing after like forty years of playing, but the others they don't seem to. It doesn't matter. You know, mm. I think it depends on the violin. Yeah. It depends on how much they play. Yeah and what type of things you're yep. playing if you're yep. playing like really loud stuff because yeah. you could also argue like if you're sitting in front of the trombones in an uh, orchestra or the career, oboe you, it's not the, to do with your instrument it's to do with your job occupation you're being blasted the entire yeah. time um, correction I meant piccolo not the oboe <laughs> <laughs> violinists have neck problems yes if you have bad posture and if you over practice and don't take rest and don't look after yourself you have many many problems the risk we take for music look at all this risk you guys ready Are you guys ready do violinists have long fingers it helps i but mean they don't have you to. don't have to have long fingers yeah that's true <laughs> and actually also it depends on the the yeah, it's not this. actually so much the length, it's the proportion of the fingers. Mm. Sometimes you have long fingers, but then let's say the pinky is extremely short, that causes problems. Mm -hmm. um, if you have sometimes, just it depends, it's mm. look, but just gotta practice, there's no excuses. Yeah. Practice. There's people with tiny hands that kill it. Yeah, violin. and that people amazing. with weird proportions that kill it. Check out Augustin how to like... Do violins get carpal tunnel? Maybe we're not experts in medicine, so we don't want to comment. Yeah. You don't understand my... Uh, these days, you can't say much. I don't know, guys. I We cannot give advice on that. Yeah. So please do check with a doctor if you do have it. If you, yeah. <laughs> do violins play chords? Yes. Yes, of course. How do violins play without frets? Because we practice. 
How do violins know where to put their fingers? Because we practice. Duh! Is violin harder than piano? Ooh. Whoa! Spark the debate of the, 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 the new war. <laughs> All the pianists are gonna come after us. We're not gonna comment. Yeah. All we're going to say is they're different. They're different. On one hand, vi uh, piano has to play typically a lot more notes. Yeah. And they have a lot more repertoire to yes. learn. On the other hand, violins have to create intonation. Yes. Which I mean, I do say, to be honest, when you start learning, piano is probably easier to start learning. Yes, than, to make a good sound. To make a good sound. But to I'm play on a good. high level, they're both the same. They're both extremely difficult. Diplomatic, diplomatic answer. answer. <laughs> you have to be diplomatic online these days. <laughs> Woo! Is violin easier than guitar? No. No. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I you have to be diplomatic. On a high level. On a high level, it's a... Uh, it's all the same. Yeah, it's all the same. Is a violin a percussive instrument? No. no Percussion. A, is violin rosin toxic? It's usually made from sap. It's from a, a tree. Mm -hmm. But toxic or not, you look that up. I don't think... Yeah, I wouldn't recommend like, eating I, yeah, it. Yeah, I wouldn't. But it's, you're not going to get like some Poison. disease from yeah. using it. Yeah, so don't eat it, don't sniff it, and don't do stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, responsibility. Is violin a transposing instrument? No. Mm. Is violin concert pitch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is yeah, concert yeah. pitch. I'm surprised so many people are asking that. I know. There must be a wind place. Just that transposing wind place. Okay. It's gotta be. Is Ling Ling the violin? Why do violins make fun of viola? Uh, see our viola joke video for reference. What spell in Harry Potter can make you deaf? Viola Hamora. <laughs> <laughs> Why do violins shake their fingers? I you mean vibrato? mean vibrato? That's not really shaking. <laughs> Why do violinists make weird faces? I mean, like, because it's part of the emotions when you're playing. The pain of torture and practice you go through to present the piece. It's just to get... <laughs> no, no, you know what it is? When you're unable to actually express it through the music, you oh! throw it through the face! Oh! Why do violinists shake their heads? What does that mean? Oh, so I guess they mean like really that was struggle. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> I mean, I guess this is relaxed. You know, can you just go like? Is that what they mean though? Like, yeah. it's not really shake. I think they think like, you know, where Oyster plays. Like... I don't know. Oh, maybe when they're listening. Yeah, they're like. like... <laughs> Why do violinists close their eyes to focus on the sound? Yes, to listen. Mm. Why do violinists use rosin? Well, so it can create sound. Yeah, so you can make a sound. Because the rosin gives the hair some more... Friction. I guess friction, it, which allows it to grab the strings yeah. better. So There's like microscopic hooks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, rosin is good. Don't use oil. All right, cool. That's it. That's uh, Google's most asked questions about violin playing. If you have any other questions, we will try to answer. Thank you so much for watching, guys. <laughs> If you have any more questions, you can comment below. Maybe some of our peers watching this can help you answer. We're all very uh, close in the classical music world. Ling Ling! Ling Ling supports us! Woohoo! Mm. Please subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.